Friends with 3X and today I am filming a part 2 to my dorm haul and I will probably definitely have a part 3 um, of like dorm things but I wanted to do a part 2 before I accumulated too much stuff and the video got too long. So I know my last one was a lot of rambling but I really want to just get started with this one. Um, one, I want to apologize for my skin. I just started a new regimen, so my skin is crazy acne-fied. So I'm trying to get rid of it, but excuse it for the time being. I'm not wearing foundation because I want my skin to be uh, makeup-free. And excuse my fan because it is super, super, super hot in my room. And I don't want my camera to overheat, nor do I want to overheat. So I'm going to just have that on, and I hope it doesn't bother you guys. I'm going to try and speak over it, and hopefully you can hear me clearly. So, I went to the Dollar Tree, and hopefully you have Dollar Trees near you. Um, that's basically how you get really, really, really cheap stuff for your room. And I'm just going to show you what I picked up from there. Um, a couple of these are actually my brother's school supplies, so let me put those back. Um, so the first thing I got is just a water bottle. This is a blue water bottle. I'm super obsessed with blue and green this year, and I don't know why. Because by my room, you'd think that I was a super girly girl, but... Recently I've been loving blue and green, so um, I got a blue one. I wanted something with a spout top, and they had these in blue and green at the Dollar Tree and like a bunch of other colors, um, but I just picked up the green, the blue one. It's one dollar, and I needed one um, for the gym and for class. Okay, so this is just deodorant. <laughs> um, I, we were really surprised to see a, an entire bin of suave deodorant at the Dollar Tree in like several different scents um, and Suave is what I use normally um, this is the big version but whatever so I picked up three of them um, I might go back and get just a couple more um, just so I'm stocked up so I don't have to go buying deodorant and essentials like after an entire month of college or whatever but this should last me for a while anyways I just picked up three of them there were a buck each um, Tropical Paradise powder which is my favorite scent so that's the one I got it just smells really clean and sweet pea and violet so um picked those up at the Dollar Tree for a buck each um, I'm actually gonna go back there and get my body wash and stuff because it's so much cheaper there than at like Walmart or whatever uh, the next thing I got was a collapsible storage container and these are like those pop-up boxes you can see an example down here, that are cloth, um, and they just collapse and pop up really, really easily. Um, my closet is built, like, it has a closet place, and then it has a shelf in the closet, and then it has a drawer below the closet. So, I'm going to stick this on the shelf and just stick things like bathing suits, um, pantyhose, tights, leggings, things that I won't wear that often, but would like to take with me. Um, and it has a handle on it, so I can pull it out really easily. So, just things that I won't be needing that often, but would like to take, I will be sticking in that bin on the top shelf. And then, I saw these, and was surprised to see these, because I was going to do the DIY version of these. And then I saw them and was like, oh my gosh, thank gosh, I found some. These are the store vacuum storage bags. They're space savers, but they're dollar store space savers, so hopefully they work the same. We're going to try it out today, <laughs> um, see how well it works, but... Yeah, this is just the large one. Um, this is how I'm going to take my shorts, all my denim shorts, high-waisted shorts, um, and high-waisted pants and things like that. Anything that I want to fold and take with me, this is how I'm going to take it with me. Um, I'm going to use space saver bags and um, save a lot of space. So I got two of those, and they were a buck each, so really freaking cheap um, for space saver bags. So if you need space saver bags, check your Dollar Tree before you go and buy official ones. Um, or do the DIY method. So, I got two of those. And then I got these non-slip shelf liners in white. And I got these because I have captain's beds um, at my dorm. And that means I have drawers underneath, like, attached to my bed. My bed is drawers. Does that make sense? No? Uh, I'll just Google captain's bed and you'll know what I mean. Um, so I wanted to get some liners for the shelves just because they're used shell, uh, used drawers, and I don't really like the idea of that. So I got some shelf liners. Um, so I have to put like my like delicates and everything in those drawers, and I do not want them touching the bare drawer without anything in it. So I got two, um, and they're five foot by twelve inches. So this should cover at least like four of my drawers. I have six. So and those were a buck each, of course. I don't know why I keep repeating that, because obviously it was a buck each, it was at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got these for our food storage, as well as for um, 
storage in my drawers for things like socks and stuff. Um, it's just a two pack of these white plastic drawers uh, and I like them. They're shallow but they're really wide so these should work well in my drawers and on our food stand for I don't know, smaller bags of things, uh, K-cups, anything like that, so. Um, because I told you guys that I was going to be DIYing a lot, so I will show you what I've DIYed so far. Um, so far I have these two letters, and it does look like I spelled out me. I don't know why I would spell out me, but it does look like I spelled out me. Um, but it's an M in mint because my name is Morgan, and my color is mint. And then there's an E in Tiffany blue because my roommate's name is Effie, and that is her real name. Um, her name is Effie, and her color is Tiffany blue, so... I painted those for us to just go above our bed or on our door or something. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Um, the next thing is this floor puff, which is actually missing. Oh, I thought it was missing the button. <laughs> I was about to cry. So I made this. It's very hard to see, but it's got a button there. And it's a floor puff, which you put on the floor, and it's like a seat of its own. Um, so it's just a huge, like, floor circular puff thing. And I actually did make this myself. I sewed it myself. It looks sort of deformed right now because the padding inside of it is a little slightly deformed because it's just been sitting in my dining room with all my other dorm stuff. I have successfully migrated it out of my room, but it is sitting in my dorm, in my living room, dining room right now. So if you like to sew and you feel like you can take on the challenge, it was fairly difficult to sew. I guess it would be sort of intermediate if you're not familiar with a sewing machine. Um, I'm pretty familiar with a sewing machine. It did take me a little while, but it wasn't too, too hard because I sew a lot. Um, but if you are interested in sewing something like that, I will link the tutorial below that I used. It was super, super helpful. Um, and there are directions in the comments section on how to make a bigger one or a smaller one because she made them for her kids so they were fairly small and I knew that we needed something bigger for us because we're adults. Um, so I just looked in the comment section. It's something about multiplying by the circumference and things like that. It's a little bit of math, but it's not too bad. Next is another DIY that I actually did fairly recently, and that is painted vase and or painted glass. Um, and this is just a super tall vase. You can see it's my color. That's my room or whatever. Um, this is going to hold flowers. Once I get flowers, I'm going and buying flowers tomorrow. That will be in my dorm hall part three. Um, and I used... Lore DIYs tutorial on it. It's really, really, really simple, but if you need a tutorial on it, you can check out her videos. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to Mod Podge to the inside to protect it um, or not yet, but yeah, that's what I did. Um, I just did this one. This was a dollar store container that I used some acrylic paint on, and you do the inside. Once again, I will link her DIY below. Um, it was about two bucks to do this, and you can customize it to whatever color you want. And then I did a smaller one. This is actually one of the Bath and Body Works containers, so this cost me no money. Um, and this is going to be for my makeup brushes, and it does look really, really, really tiny for my makeup brushes. I'm hoping it'll fit, and if it doesn't, then I will just have to get another container for my brushes. So, did those the other day. And just continuing on with the sort of DIY stuff, I'll just show you what I bought that I haven't actually done stuff with. I just haven't had the time or patience to sit down and do it, but I will do it soon. Um, I got these quarters from Joann's, and I think they're like a buck each. They're super, super cheap. Um, and once again, if you're familiar with a sewing machine, it's really cheap to make your own pillows for your bed. So, um, I am going to be making pillows for my bed just so I don't have to go out and buy like $20 pillows because nobody has time for that. Um, so I got this design, and hopefully you can sort of see it. I hope the white balance isn't making it super washed out. Um, they are all centered around my color, by the way. Um, I got this one. Super, super pretty. I got this one, which is a lot more blue than I thought it was originally. Looking back at it the other day, I was like, whoa, it's a lot of blue. But hopefully it'll be fine. Um, with the others and then I got this one which is by far my favorite. Um, it's super cute. It's white elephant outlines on mint green. I hope you can see that. It's so super cute. I love it. So so I got those to make pillows out of. Um, they should make one pillow to two pillows each. Um, so that's a decent amount of pillows for about four bucks. So got those. Um, I also got padding which I used in my floor puff and in these, or I will be, um, but it's downstairs and I was like, that's useless to bring upstairs. It's just polyfill. It's really, really easy to find. In addition, I went to Home Goods, so I'm going to show you what I got from Home Goods. Um, not a lot, honestly, but I will show you anyways. I actually got these from Joann's. 
Um, so, <laughs> a little off topic there. Switching around a lot, but whatever. Um, they are coffee mugs. And as I mentioned in my last dorm hall, my roommate loves, loves, loves tea. And I love coffee and tea. So, um, I thought I would get these. I told her not to buy one. And so she should be expecting it. But it's going in the gift basket that I'm making her. The roommate gift basket I'm making her for the day we move in. Um, so I got these. And the green one is clearly mine and this pretty one is hers um they were a buck each they say 250 actually they might have been two for five i lied they might have been two for five they were joann's in the like random aisle or whatever and i was just like hey why not get them so i got them and thought they were cute um so just a gift for my roommate as i drop it um and then these i already had um, found them lying around from when I decorated my room a while ago, so I'm going to take these with me. These are from Ikea, um, and they're white wire sort of pencil holders. I'm going to be sticking my pencils in one, and pens in one, of course. Pencils and pens in one, and whatever else, you know, kind of things like that. And then probably like my brushes or something in another one, so. These are from Ikea, I don't know if I said that or not, but I've had those for a really long time and just never really used them. This is an over-the-door hook. And I'm hoping that my closet is wide enough for the hooks to hook on this correctly because if it's not, I'm screwed. So I'm praying that this hooks onto my closet. Um, I didn't see how wide it is and I just wasn't thinking about it at the time because it was so cheap. It was only $10 and this one's really, really cool because it has a towel rack here. You can hang your towel and washcloth over and then it has uh one two three four five five hooks on the bottom here so i really like it and it's in white and silver so loving that that was like i said 10 bucks um so fairly cheap for an over the door hook that has all that attached to it and then i got this and i'm trying to get it undone um i got this this is from belle maison um easel it says holds photos small collectibles music sheet signs and paintings so i got this um i thought it was really really cute it's like a cream color um with like crystal endings and i got this to hold my painting that i painted um and i'm just gonna stick it on the top of my thing so that it's like displaying outwards like an easel so i thought that was cute it was five bucks so i thought it was pretty cheap and i thought it was cute so i got it i was like well, why not <laughs> next thing i have is this clip on lamp and I got a clip on lamp so that I can clip it next to my bed um on whatever happens to be there that I can clip it on like I just clipped it on my desk and then it moves so if I'm reading or doing work in my bed and my roommate's trying to sleep or something I can angle it down at me and still get work done um I need a light bulb for it but it's clear and silver and I did not actually buy this this was given to me by someone who didn't use it um it's spanking brand spanking new so that was nice. I actually have a black one of this at my house, but it gets too hot, so I got this one instead. Hopefully this one doesn't get hot that easily, um, and it just turns on the back there. In addition, I did get an over-the-door mirror from Walmart. It was five bucks. It's super long. It's exactly like the pink mirror I have in my room right now, which you can see behind me there, um, but it's white framed instead of pink, of course, and I don't have that to show you because that would just be horrible trying to show it on camera, but I, got, I will show you this instead. Um, I got this at Walmart with the mirror. It was right in front of the mirrors. Um, as soon as you walk into Walmart, it was right in front of them, below the mirrors. And this is an over-the-door mirror hardware set. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you just screw it onto the mirror and then just hang it on a door. And um, my college doesn't allow things on the actual walk-in door, but I'm going to stick this on my closet door. Um so that we have an over the door mirror or she can stick it on her closet door so um and you can adjust the hooks to the desired height so you can you know lower the mirror if you need to see more of your outfit or heighten it if you need to see less um or whatever so yeah <laughs> got that as well i think it was maybe like two or three dollars nothing major in addition um i will just show you quickly the coffee machine that i got um i did say i was getting a keurig and I actually had never planned to get a Keurig, but that's just sort of what came out of my mouth last time I filmed. Because this is basically a Keurig, but it is the cheaper version of a Keurig. And um, it is the Hamilton Beach, and I love Hamilton Beach stuff. We have so much Hamilton Beach in our house. We have a Hamilton Beach coffee machine, Hamilton Beach griddle. We have a Hamilton Beach coffee, not coffee, waffle maker thing. Um, and a Hamilton Beach coffee grinder. And we just love the brand. It lasts forever, and it's such great quality. And I just... 
Keurigs are just too much money. Like, that's too much for a machine that is not that great. So, I got the Hamilton Beach version. Um, and the nice thing about this is the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. And I'm on the Spanish side. I apologize. Um, single source Flex Brew Coffee Maker. And the nice thing about this is that not only does it take K-Cups, which I will be buying, it also takes coffee grounds. So I don't have to buy a crap ton of K-Cups and waste so much money buying K-Cups. I can use coffee grounds in this and just regular tea bags. So really, really handy. And that's what I told my roommate when she said she didn't drink coffee. This does take tea bags and coffee grounds. Um, like a regular coffee machine or cups. So, yeah, and it has a stand for a coffee cup or a travel mug. So, I picked that up. It was $50 at Walmart. Super, super, super cheap for a um, Keurig machine that's not Keurig. So, I am in love. I'm so happy I found that when I did. Um, so, if you want to buy a Keurig but you don't want to spend a hundred and something dollars and plus K cups. Um, I recommend that 50 bucks at Walmart. Walmart is the only place that I've seen it so far and online it's $60. So check your Walmart um, before you go anywhere else to buy it. Is my comforter blanket thing. Um, I didn't show this in the last haul even though I had it in the last haul because I completely forgot about it but um, I will show it now. This is my quilt. Nobody's seen this yet, actually. My friends haven't even seen this. This is the Kanar Home Twin Quilt. It's not twin extra long. I don't care that much, honestly. Um, and I am in love. I think it's beautiful. It's like embossed white, and it is a quilt. Oh, you can probably see it better on the back side. So pretty. Um, and... Uh, it is a quilt, and if you know anything about me, if you've watched my, paid attention to my videos before, um, I hate the heat with a dying passion. I like nothing about it. I think it's horrible, and I think it is the worst temperature to ever be. I would rather be freezing cold than hot. Uh, so I got a quilt. I was like, I'm not getting a comforter because I know dang well I am not going to use a comforter. So I'm getting that, and if it gets too cold, I am buying a plush blanket, um, within this next week or so so I am getting a blanket just in case it gets colder I want to sit somewhere else in my room and I want a blanket like I'm sitting on the floor and I want a blanket I'll have a blanket so I am getting a blanket but I am not getting a comforter because I just do not have time for that and no <laughs> um and I'm getting white sheets so it's a lot of white um but I like to think of myself as a pretty clean person when it comes to my bed and there's always bleach your best friend with white things so yeah so next is my mattress topper and this is a comfy foam mattress topper. Uh, I have seen some people buying $100 mattress toppers and I just do not see why you would do this. I got this from um, Tarhe um, and it is the Room Essentials comfy foam mattress topper. Um, it is one and a half inch foam hypoallergenic antimicrobial treatment and it was 15 bucks um so i am not complaining uh me and candace just found it while we were there and we're like you know what we need them let's get them so yeah i've heard people stack like two on top of each other um if i get to my room and i find that this is not enough i can go buy another one i'm not that pressed about it but 20 bucks at or 15 bucks 15 or 20 bucks at target super cheap um for a mattress topper considering what other people have been paying which is just too much for Morgan. Last but not least is my desk lamp and apparently this is against school rules as well but I'm going to see what the fire marshal says. Um, this is a lamp by Ikea. I don't know what sort of type it is because I've had it for years now um, but I want to show you it just because if they have it at Ikea still I recommend it because I love this lamp. Um, I haven't had it for years. I've had it for about a year. Um, it is just a white lamp and this pops off and underneath it goes the light bulb but I love it it's short it has an extension cord and the switch is on the cord not on the lamp um, and so this is what I'll be taking for a desk lamp if you were wondering but that I believe is it um, I could show you some food purchases but I don't think you want to see that I went to the Asian grocery recently and just fell in love let me just tell you, if you have an Asian grocer where you live, please, for the love of me, go get this place. It is beautiful. It is the best thing I have ever had in my life. Um, 
I'm not even being sarcastic. This is 3.15 p.m. milk tea, anytime, anywhere. Um, and it's the coffee milk tea flavor. They have coffee milk tea, original milk tea, Earl Grey milk tea, and rose milk tea. I, I want to try them all, and I probably will try them all um, the next time I go. But this is the coffee milk tea flavor, and it just looks like this. And then when you open it up, um, it has satchels like this. And uh, what it is, is it's coffee, black tea, and creamer built into a tea satchel. I am in love. It is perfection. I have just been drinking cup after cup after cup. And it's probably not that good for you. I don't know because it's in uh, Chinese on the back here. But it, the ingredients are super simple. It's just coffee, black tea, non-dairy creamer, and refined sugar. Um, I do still add sugar to it. I've heard a lot of people don't. But I still add a little bit of sugar because I like my milk tea really, really, really sweet. But if you love boba or bubble tea or just milk tea in general, this is amazing and delicious. And I love it to death. So I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, but I just thought I'd share that with you. It's like $3 a box, so it's not even that expensive. And I'm definitely going to be stocking up for the college. Because I'm going to have a cup or a morning if I don't have coffee. So that is it. I rambled, even though I said I wouldn't. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will probably have a dorm DIY coming soon. Or at least a video on things you can DIY for your dorm room. Because I have DIY'd so much for my dorm room. I'm in love with it, so... Yeah, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A college fashion tutorial, a tutorial, a college fashion haul and lookbook will be coming within the next two weeks. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. And I have a light on my camera, so I'm hoping that helps. My closet has been cleared out. It was super, 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 super messy um, before recently. So yeah, those are all the shoes that I have. Um, 